I thought it was a very interesting script. Uh, I definitely thought that the characters had a lot of potential to be very funny and very like all over the place to cover tons of different grounds of comedy. Of course, it would sort of have to, I guess, bow to the surrealists, bow, bow, whatever you want to say, to the sort of surrealists who like their comedy to take place within the, our realms of reality, but not within our realms of sense. So it's like, like none of this, this doesn't actually happen. So it's, you know, there's certain comedy that, oh, that's funny because it's so true. This is just so funny because it's so not true that you'd have to be insane to think that it ever happened anywhere. Although then putting a disclaimer of like, this is based off of real events. That would have been funny. To an extent, I felt that I kind of was Jason. I am somebody who is kind of assertive in the way he really corrects people. Pretty much anybody would tell you that. And I felt like I really had a nice handle on him. I, I came up with certain jokes for him. I came up with jokes for Mark. And I came up with jokes anywhere that I could, really. And... And at times, I felt like I was sort of losing my handle on who he was. I sort of, you know, I had lines where I didn't understand what kind of inflection he was giving or what inflection I was supposed to be giving. But I felt like through the most part, I really did know what I was supposed to be doing throughout the, throughout the shooting time. I like my editing. Uh, I noticed that we stayed on the wide shot a lot, and I thought that was kind of funny because you just sort of saw how everybody interacted. There's that time, and I've noticed that like the the close up that I used the most was probably Mark's because Harry didn't have a whole lot of close ups, and I did a really awful job monitoring myself. Uh, I was a little bit out of focus. It was uh, I, I I I slouch a lot in the movie, and I feel like that that that's something that I do. So I felt like it was something that what Jason would do. But we framed the shot really tight and when I was standing up straight. So when I was starting to slouch over and talk, it was like my chin was gone and like there was tons of space above my head and there was no way to fix it. So I felt like that one wasn't very good. But I really did like my editing style and how I kept with that. I didn't like the angles too much, but they were kind of boring angles. I didn't have anything overly exciting except that ultra wide that I used at the very beginning. Uh, I felt like some more interesting angles would have been good, but I don't think we could have gotten them very easily. I, unless we like climbed up on top of the shed and shot us straight down or something like that, I don't think we would have gotten anything overly interesting. And uh, as for like cinematography in a lighting sense, I actually kind of really don't like the lighting. I noticed that the light coming off of the uh, the lantern we had was really the light we were using when what I should have done is taken my extra light and as opposed to using that as a light to fill in all the shadows I should have used that as sort of like a a false light pretty much you know put it behind the lantern and have that one actually give the light and have the lantern be the excuse for why from where for why the light is coming from that direction that would have made the shadows really deep and made the film look really serious all the time like in the really earlier scenes having a film look so serious yet be so ridiculous i think would have been a really good amplifier to the hilarity of it all you know it looks like an actual stakeout film it looks like a part from like mission impossible or something and yet we're talking about shooting a guy in his penis with a bb gun uh, so I didn't like the lighting and, you know, I, you know, lighting pretty down here and, uh, cinematography as in, you know, camera angles I thought was just on par for pretty much anything. And, uh, that's pretty much it. As for my editing, I've always enjoyed my editing style, although it is my yeah. editing style, so. Boxes are douchebag. Major contributions, or even minor contributions, depending on how you see them. Uh, I did do a few of the jokes before we actually started shooting the... When he, when Mark punches the wall, that was a joke I wrote. Pretty much, I, uh, I just said it would be kind of funny if he like punched at him and he like hit something. And, uh, why are you wearing a wall, I think I said. Uh, 
But that's one joke. I made, uh, pretty much, I, I made the ending. The, the fact that the Miranda was cheating on Jason as opposed to Amanda cheating on Mark. I wrote, uh, I, I at least came up with that. I didn't actually write it down anywhere. Um, and a lot of what happens at the end when Mark, not Mark, uh, when Jason starts to leave, a lot of his lines I think I made, uh, I believe so. I can check back with the script again, the text somewhere to correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe a lot of what happened, a lot of the stuff like when he says, oh, you made jackets and hits him in the face with the mask. I believe I made that, and when he was walking away, he was like, oh, but they were custom jackets. And when I just turn around, they're like, oh, bite me. I believe I made those on the spot, and we just sort of rolled with it. There was also one joke that we kind of tried to do that didn't work out, which was always saying, when we ever talk about Walter, the Mark's brother, we always say, my brother Walter, or Mark's brother Walter, or your brother Walter. So it always says their title, then their name. And the same thing went for, man, for Amanda. You know, why do you think why do you think your girlfriend Amanda is sleeping with your brother Walter? Always say, you know, the relationship, title, name. That didn't work out because we came up with it like mid shoot. So there's lots of earlier takes that I actually preferred using that didn't have that joke in them, in them. But you know, we we wanted that to go on, and that was just sort of like a simultaneous thing that happened between all three of us. We just started joking at how. We always said their title and their name. I feel like it doesn't hold up to my expectations. It probably doesn't hold up to Gabe's expectations. Uh, I feel like I actually might have lowered Gabe's feelings on the film because originally he said that he really liked it and that he was really excited about it and then I just started pointing things out with it that I had noticed through editing it. I was like, but you know, Jake's always looking off into space or at the camera and then there's this bit that doesn't even make any sense. There's this joke that doesn't happen. There's nah, nah, nah. So I'd, I had been watching the film and I sort of took that editor's hate for any of their projects and sort of forced it on him. but. I like the film enough to say that it is a good video, especially to people who haven't seen it a million times before like I did. But there are enough flaws, especially upon repeat viewings, that I think hold it back from reaching its potential as a script or even being as good as some of the other videos that we've made that Gabe has directed or that anybody's really directed. This had a lot of potential to be as great if not better than a lot of our best projects and I think that a lot of the limitations of just our filmmaking sensibilities really held it back from truly realizing that. It is definitely nowhere near as good as Night Fight 3. <laughs> no, Night Fight 3 is abysmal. Um, for me, I would put it, you know, close but probably under Watching Eyes, Shattered Dream. And I think that's probably all I'd put it under. I'd put it on par with maybe Gunslinger, although Gunslinger is a very different project. And then I would put it above lists of work. Like, of course, our early work, Suburban Warfare, Backyard Shooting, Writers, um, re-shattered dream, which is supposed to be respond shattered dream, which is a messaging thing. It's a joke of the title, and um, trailer shot, and can't think of any projects offhand. But you know, the project that I just listed, I would put it above that. You know, some of them way more than others. But I feel like this really got a story across. I feel like it had nice pacing. I feel like it worked well with what it was supposed to be and what it became, while not perfect and not even as good as it could have been, I feel like it is very good. I feel like it's a very, you know, it, it's kind of like an A minus if we were grading on a curve to where, you know, you know, if you if it was as good as, um, if, if, if it was as good as watching eyes, that's an A plus. Being better than watching eyes is like A plus plus, then I think it would be like an A or an A minus because I feel like it comes very close. But again, those limitations and the fact that it was shot in like two or two and a half, three hours or so, 
I feel that it really held it down, especially because I had to go back and like reshoot other stuff and patch it on. And I feel like there was enough issues to really hold it back from being way up there. But now I'm repeating myself from the last question. So I'd say A minus, you know, kind of a good, but not great. And definitely there are projects, there are a few projects above it, but plenty of projects below it to advent to advocate its existence. This has been a really nice and informative interview. You've been meh, <laughs> and uh, we hope to see you in future projects, which will most likely happen because you are the head of the company. I am? Why didn't anybody tell me? I don't know, it's kind of, I mean, well, this is your house. But, so? That did what? You! You work for this company! Why didn't you tell me that I was the head? Why didn't you tell me that I was the CEO and that I could control everything? Uh, honestly, so I can get away with a few stuff. I feel betrayed. Like, you know, the whole time where I kind of boss you to clean up? Uh, yeah, I thought if you knew that you were CEO, then you kind of would not do that. Oh my god. Oh my god, my entire world is changing. Why don't you go think about that? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna think about that and... A million other stuff.